So he got interrupted there. The memory card was full. So I'm on. I'm just approaching now the corner. So I'm doing my last set of three double crochet. Chain one. What's happened here? Oh, bungled that one up. Chain one. And now we go into the last stitch of this and do three double crochet all into the same stitch. No, hang on a minute, something's gone wrong here. That doesn't look nice, I'm going to redo that. Oh, it obviously didn't go through properly, there you go. That's it. That didn't look neat. So with that we have this row finished. I'm going to chain three. And because yeah, chain three and I'm just going to pull this out so that you can get a full overview I just want to show you now the back of the hood so we have our corner here we come across here I'm doing a four point so that's my first increase and to the back remember the back spine this is the back spine Next increase, next increase is midway point, the midway point again, and the front. So when I turn this round, you'll get a sort of an idea how this is going. So we have our increases in the front here. that we are then going to join and we have our that's our first point our second point point second and third points are in the middle and our fourth point in the back now if you only have two then you will only have the back one and the front one which is not complete yet because we are still increasing so these this row that we have just done now with the increases we repeat until we have six full rows done with that and then I'll get back to you see you later so this is the end of my sixth row and I've just done my last three last three double crochet and chain one now I go into the end same as before do my next lot of three double crochet and I'll move the camera and hope you can see this better let's move it to here hope I didn't make you too dizzy so I've done my last three double crochet on row number six now I will take the other end of the hood and this is where we started off with the row now we go into the first space there and slip stitch both together this is where we join the hood together and cut off our color pull it through 
now that we have joined it doesn't need to be terribly tight join it's not necessary because that will not show later anyway now <clears throat> just sew in sew in the thread thread no the wool the end weave in the end that's what it's called <laughs> i do talk sometimes a bit of nonsense excuse me for that <laughs> there we go weave in the end i'll leave it out for the moment because i will want to tighten that a bit better so now i just want to give you a general overview of what it looks like up to now Let's move the ball of wool away. So I'm facing this now to the camera. Oh, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to back up a bit like that. So this is what we have up to now. This is the edging of the hood. This is the back with the spine. Here's, here are six rows. We have just joined here in the front like that. This is my first and, and third um, point. And this is my second point. And the last one will be here in the front so that's what we're going to be doing now so i'm going to change color here and for that no matter whether you're changing color or not it is always best to start in the back so we start in the back but not not here on the point start maybe one or two loops prior to that join your new color <clears throat> I put my needle away otherwise I'll lose it join your new color chain three double crochet And another double crochet chain one put the little tail to the back I'll sew that up a bit later now I'll change position of camera again oops I see right now we do the same as before we go around and when you come to the front where we've just joined then I will show you what to do next so you just carry on with your color and you do as you have done before in every loop do your three double crochet pattern with the chain one except for when you come to the increase points of your poncho that is where you do two groups of double uh, two groups of double crochet separated by a double chain so that's one two three chain two because this is a point and in the same loop another three double crochet by now you should know this by heart it shouldn't be difficult I hope I'm showing you a different angle that if you haven't caught it before you will catch it now so let me meet up with you once we get round to the front so now I have reached reached the loop just before the join 
Here's my join. This is my last loop. So I've done my three double crochet, my chain one. Now I do three double crochet where the join is. Make sure that the join is not twisted. <clears throat> this does happen. Try to keep it straight because it does have a tendency to tendency to twist. Now chain two and do another three double crochets in the same spot. This is how you do your last point of your poncho. So now here we have three double crochet, come to your join, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one, and right into the next spot on the other side with three double crochet. And if you hear noises, that's the dogs running around. My mobile phone's just gone off and they will get excited and the mobile phone messages is on. And around we go with the normal theme three double crochet chain one in next loop three double crochet chain one all the way around until we join where we started off meet you there so now i have reached here the end this is where we started the change of color all i do now is a slip stitch join with the slip stitch now you can you have choices here now either you can change your color tie this color off and change color or you carry on with the same color i'm choosing to stay with the same color so i will chain three one two three now if you don't change color you need to turn around otherwise you'll have a funny step Right, and then two double crochet into the same loop because the chain three already, already counts for one. And you carry on with your normal three double crochet, chain one, all the way around. Don't forget the increases. And now for adult size, this is all there is to it, to this part is you just go round and round and round and round and round and round <laughs> and I have measured up to 51 rows check out the length you prefer but 51 rows seems to be the average so 51 rows in total so that counts the change we have just done so the two rows that we have just and the second row we've just started so then another 49 more isn't it so that's how many rows you've got to do i just wanted to put this quickly aside just give you a general overview on here so this is what we have now <clears throat> yes and it looks humongous but it needs the width so that you have enough space I just I'm just trying to get the edges together here we go so here we go get the edges together I'll get the hood folded a little bit okay I just folded this a little bit so that you can see so this is what you have now so you see here the side, the sides coming out nicely, the front, the front peak is starting. We have already the back peak and the side peak here. Now you'll say, but Maya, oops, 
I'll cut that out. That's my tripod's just fallen over. I'm sorry for that, guys. That was my tripod falling over. Maybe now you'll say, now the neck isn't finished. Yes, I know the neck isn't finished. But this can only be done at the end so that we know where to place the buttons. And then we'll finish off here. Put the buttons in place. Put the board around and make the cord so that it will end up looking similar to this one which you see this can only be done once the whole thing is finished and once you've tried it on or guesstimated where you want your buttons so that you can place and you need to when you if you do want buttons I'll tell you this now so that you can go looking is look for the ones you would like because it will depend on the size how long this these chains will be so have a look what you've got and what you would like or whether you don't want any at all if you don't want any at all you can do it with just the cord it is no problem but I find it is especially in colder climes and where it's windy it's nicer to have buttons you have then more options so that is what it will look like in the end well not exactly like that but similar to that so that is why we haven't finished this and this is the adult size the green and orange one I've shown you over there, the, the lime green and orange, that is an adolescent size. So, and then, <clears throat> and I'll see you once the 51 rows are finished. See you then.